Oh, we are recording. Oh, <laughs> don't want to start that over. Nah, fuck it. <laughs> what up, Scorpios? <laughs> Here we are. Um, I don't know. That was a weird intro. My name is Priscilla from Crystal Things. You know, here to do your March general readings. Friendly reminders. That tarot is for guidance and entertainment purposes only. Therefore, not responsible for what you do after reading. However, I am here for you. If you're interested in a personal reading, check out the description box down below. If the links are there, that means I'm accepting the readings. It's the only way that I do readings. You just book on the website. Makes it nice and simple. And scam free. Oh, this is a cool card. I'm going to keep this for you guys. This is a newer deck, so there's a lot of cards I haven't seen yet. Um, new updates. We have spring classes and one-day workshops. They're all online, so anyone can join from anywhere. Please check it out. Um, I do have the link on the description box down below, but I also do have the flyer that mentions all the cards and all the cards, all the classes and the dates and all that good stuff in the community page. So check it out. Please join. Super excited. I worked really hard on them. <laughs> I need one more card. Thank you. <sighs> I kind of want to put it in a circle. I don't know why, but I do. I just heard things are coming into full circle. So we're going to start with the first card that I showed you guys is called the Crystal Skull Wisdom. So you're getting clarity. There's divine healing going on and you're just high vibing right now. Okay. And um, now we're moving over to the Earth Star activation. What that means is the reason why you're getting that clarity and you're getting that healing is because you're being very grounded. You're you're getting anchored into it. Right. Um, that was my dog in the background. The big one gets annoyed by the little one. Don't mind them. They sound like they're going to start wrestling, so don't mind it. So super grounded, getting clarity, getting all that you need. Now we're moving over this way, coming to full circle. Now the voice activation is happening, okay? This is angelic attunement. Speaking of voice activation, there goes my dog with a little barking, right? Um, so this is your throat chakra, okay? Now your throat chakra is getting lit up over here and you're speaking your truth. You're doing what you want. Um, now we move over to your sacral chakra. Interesting. <laughs> Where your sacral chakra, you're getting, you're feeling sexy again. You're having that tenderness. Um, your creative abilities are coming in. Okay. So now moving over and it's all coming to full circle here with the divine matrix because everything is has um interconnectedness so like everything is connected that's you know basically what we talked about right uh things are happening in synchronicity okay Let me pull another right there you are breaking through pouring just pouring out waterfalls bitches waterfalls <laughs> but again that's your throat chakra that's you your self-expression coming out okay this is pretty cool so uh let's check your tarot portion and see what's going on i'm actually gonna go somewhat traditional this is not a writer weight but it does follow many of the the styles of them so I forgot what this, this is, I think the vice versa, maybe. I forget the name of this deck. I've had it for a while. I don't use it very often. All right. What's going on for my lovely Scorpios? Please. I'm hearing killing me softly. His words. No, no, I feel like you're vibing. I feel like they were killing you softly. But not anymore, baby. It was killing you softly and you're like, nah, we're not in that energy anymore. Whoever this vibe is that I'm picking up on, super chill. I love it. 
You might be high as fuck right now. <laughs> so anyways, then this person was killing you softly. You were losing sleep. You have anxiety about it. They were stressing you out. You was doing all the things. You know what I mean? So now here you are. You're going into your uh, six of wands where... Um, you have a lot of people looking at you and seeing what you're doing now. And you're kind of just like, whatever, I'm just going to go do what I got to do. Because the, regardless of how you feel that I should be moving, I'm going to move this way. I know that there's more chaos that way. I am very well aware that there's more chaos that way. Okay. I am literally looking at it, <laughs> but I'm going to do it anyways. So say what you want. I've done my research online, okay, and sorry, my dogs are funny. You hear them? <laughs> it's funny. I think I figured out what I want to do. You might even be working online. Maybe you're a YouTube reader. <laughs> so anyways, you know that even if it's the long way, that it's eventually going to turn into a long-term thing and you're going to be receiving. And if you have children, your children are going to be okay as well. It's going to be, um, it's like the end of your struggle. You're not going to be struggling financially or anything like that. Right. Because here's a star. You're getting what you want. Um, but you did have to leave someone behind or someone left you behind or whatever it is. Basically, you have to do it on your own. Okay, because things had to come to light. You weren't quite listening to your intuition in the past. And um, you were kind of doing it in like secret or something like that. Or you're living a double life or, you know, something of that sort that was going on. Um, but I think over time, more and more, it started coming to light a little bit. And as it was coming to light, you're like, no, like, what am I doing? This is what I want to do. So even though it may leave you in a vulnerable spot, whether it's because you're exposing a side of you that other people don't know or um, a, a different side that people aren't used to seeing or anything like that, regardless, it is a new chapter that you're moving into. You do just have to feel a little vulnerable in between. Not that you have to, you just, regardless, you do feel it. And because you're willing to do so, you're willing to sacrifice that willingly um here's your offer coming in with the ace of pentacles right and here's the wheel of fortune wow and then here's the magician this sounds like someone coming out of the the witchy closet or a spiritual closet or whatever and being like this is me and spirit is like, finally, yes. I'll tell you a story from personal experience. So I work in a medical field and um, I work in the operating room. I still do it, but I do it more as a backup now. I don't, it's not my primary anymore. And um, when I came to the hospital that I'm at now, you know, I was battling between that. Like, should I stay? Should I go? Blah, blah. Trust me, when things are aligned for you, it's going to work out regardless because I lie to you not. You won't believe how many people I've done readings for that are employees of that hospital. <laughs> and it wasn't even me promoting it or anything like that. It was literally like word got out and I don't even faster than I could, you know, imagine. And people talk to me all the time about it. You know, you name it. Doctors, <laughs> everyone. So staff, doctors, it doesn't matter. If it's meant for you, it'll be. You will always receive. Um, it's just that, you know, there are some things that do have to change. And a lot of it has to do with how you handle, you want to handle your responsibilities, pretty much. What's your approach going to be? Stability. You're going to be fine. Stability, and here's a story with the new beginning, right? Going towards a pinnacle. It's like the person you're presenting to everyone else 
stable, whatever. But the person behind going towards this new beginning is also stable. So it's like you're safe either way. I might name it that you're safe either way. As my dogs like whine in the background. They're playing, but they're whiny. Ten of Pentacles. All right, that's going to be your reading. So don't be afraid. Hold on to that dream, whatever you're doing. Keep pushing for it because I see it working out for you. This is, you know, something that's very passionate for you, okay? This is something that is for you. It's not for other people. It fulfills your cup. So I know you see it in your future. So, you know, now you just have to put into action and go for it. Alrighty, until next time, bye.